Stars come in mind-boggling sizes. From the diminutive neutron stars, so dense a teaspoon weighs as much as a mountain, to colossal giants like Betelgeuse. They burn for billions of years, their fiery hearts powered by nuclear fusion, a process that rivals even the most powerful bombs on Earth. And when they finally reach the end of their lives, they can explode in spectacular supernovas, scattering the elements they forge throughout the cosmos, ready to form new stars, planets, and maybe, just maybe, even life itself. But the strangeness doesn't stop there. Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, Beyond Earth, your portal to the cosmos. Today we're going to delve into the realm of the truly bizarre, exploring stars that challenge our understanding of the universe and push the boundaries of our imagination. So buckle up and join me as we explore the strangest stars the universe might hold. Dark matter, as the name suggests, is a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe's mass. It doesn't interact with light or the electromagnetic field, making it invisible to our current instruments. Dark matter stars would have existed before the first normal stars were born. And if they are real, they might even still exist today. Contrary to what you might imagine based on the name of these theoretical stars, they would mostly be made of normal matter, namely hydrogen and helium, like our own sun. Here's where the concept of dark matter stars gets interesting. Scientists have proposed that if a specific type of dark matter particle, called a neutralino, exists, it could potentially annihilate with its antiparticle, releasing energy in the form of heat. The raw power of neutralino annihilation would allow dark matter stars to continue blazing for billions of years, all without ever needing to collapse to kickstart nuclear fusion, which is a prerequisite for normal stars. As a result, dark stars could be huge and puffy giants, growing to tens or maybe even thousands of astronomical units in diameter. Yet, despite their size, that lack of fusion and relatively low temperatures would likely make these stars truly dark possibly invisible to the human eye. Unlike ordinary stars made of fermions, such as protons, neutrons, and electrons, boson stars are theorized to be composed of bosons. These are fundamental particles that govern the fundamental forces of nature, like photons and gluons. However, in the realm of boson stars, we're not talking about the ordinary bosons we encounter in daily life. Some scientists think that dark matter could have its own boson, dark matter bosons also might be able to coalesce into dark matter stars, though they behave rather strangely. For example, the fermions in normal stars behave like people. Two people can't occupy the same physical space at the same time, and they have to take turns standing in a given spot. But bosons act more like waves in water, and when waves come together, they don't push each other out of the way. Instead, they add together and make a bigger wave. In physics, this is called a Bose-Einstein condensate. A dark boson star would be like a giant, dense Bose-Einstein condensate in outer space, and it might resemble another extremely compact object, a black hole. In fact, a recent study published in the journal Physical Review Letters suggested that scientists may have already witnessed two boson stars collide. In May 2019, the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory caught the ripples in space-time caused by the collision of two weirdly large black holes. The pair were some 66 and 85 times the mass of our sun, respectively, which is larger than current theories suggest should be possible through the death of massive stars. It's possible that each of these black holes were the products of previous smaller black hole mergers. But after the team ran that option through their models, they realized that such an outcome would be indistinguishable from the collision of two dark boson stars. If it turns out the universe is replete with these hypothetical dark boson stars, it would finally explain the enduring mystery of why scientists haven't been able to track down dark matter. Neutron stars are truly bizarre objects that are common across our universe. Ordinary stars, once their fuel is depleted, can collapse under their own gravity, leading to the formation of a neutron star. These incredibly dense objects pack the mass of our sun into a sphere just a few kilometers wide, held together by the immense pressure that crushes protons and electrons into neutrons. 
just a teaspoonful of neutron star material could weigh as much as a mountain on Earth. But there's another type of hypothetical star that could make even these extreme objects look tame. They're called quark stars. Quark stars are theoretical objects that sit somewhere between the density of a neutron star and a black hole. They're made of quarks, an elementary particle that serves as a building block for matter by coming together to form the protons and neutrons in atomic nuclei. Similar to neutron stars, which are made up of neutrons, quark stars would be made almost entirely of quarks. Researchers have suggested these strange stars may be remnants of large neutron stars whose particles have been simmered down over the eons. In 1992, a neutron star named RxJ1856.5-3754 was discovered and is the closest known neutron star to Earth. In 2002, observations from the Chandra X-ray Observatory suggested that RxJ1856.5-3754 and 3C58 may be quark stars rather than neutron stars. The first potential quark star sits just 400 light years away in the constellation Corona Australis. Astronomers noted that the star was far hotter than expected, with a temperature roughly 700,000 degrees Celsius and a diameter of less than 8 kilometers. That's too small to fit with astronomers' ideas about neutron stars, which pushed some to suggest it could be a quark star. Eventually, scientists realized that the star is farther away, and therefore cooler and bigger than originally thought, ruling it out as a quark star. However, the other quark star candidate, dubbed 3C58, has been neither confirmed nor ruled out. The star's strange behavior, like dramatic temperature swings, also doesn't conform with astronomers' ideas about standard neutron stars. Ultimately, more research is required to learn whether quark stars really exist, as well as whether we've already found one. Axions are hypothetical particles, incredibly lightweight and barely interacting with normal matter, making them notoriously difficult to detect. However, if they exist, they could hold the key to unlocking the secrets of dark matter. Here's where things get exciting. If axions exist and interact with themselves weakly, they could theoretically clump together under their own gravity, forming incredibly massive and diffuse objects called axion stars. These wouldn't be like the familiar stars we see in the night sky. They wouldn't emit light or heat in the way we're used to. Axion stars, should they exist, would become unstable once they reach a certain mass. This would result in the stars exploding and releasing bursts of radiation. Researchers think that explosions of axion stars in the early universe could have left imprints in the CMB. Finding this signature would be a major breakthrough, potentially confirming the existence of both axion stars and axions themselves, thus unraveling a piece of the dark matter puzzle. Scientists are actively searching for the signature with advanced telescopes and sophisticated data analysis techniques. thorn zitko objects are a truly bizarre kind of binary star. These theoretical hybrid stars harbor a neutron star inside a puffy giant star, making them essentially stellar Russian nesting dolls. They are thought to form when red giant or red supergiant star collides with a neutron star. Though it would be incredibly rare, such a collision could potentially happen when two wandering stars pass too close to each other. However, it would be much more likely to occur in a close binary system. If one of the binary stars in such a system were to go supernova, it would leave behind a neutron star. That massive stellar explosion might also give the remnant neutron star a kick in the direction of its giant neighbor, forcing the two to collide and merge. Physicists Kip Thorne and Anna Zitko first dreamed up these hybrid stars back in 1977, hence their name. But Thorn Zitko objects were really thrown back into the limelight in 2014, after astronomers suggested they'd finally found one in a star called HV 21112. However, in the years since then, that discovery has remained controversial. So, although just as fascinating to ponder as all the other wild stars on this list, Thorn Zitko objects likewise remain purely hypothetical. But then again, 
Astronomy textbooks are now strewn with descriptions of real crazy cosmic objects that were long considered science fiction. Who's to say what other bizarre objects we'll uncover in the years to come? Are these outlandish stars real? The jury's still out, but they're allowed by the laws of physics as we understand them. Finding one would revolutionize our view of the cosmos. Which of these crazy stars is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. If you want more awesome space content, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.